I was kind of fascinated by the stories and to my surprise he recovered within a day or two. I wasn't happy with my life back then. Before I used to blame everybody for my miseries, my sufferings. Even I had suicidal thoughts. Real purpose of life. When you are uh, at the verge of ending your life, what is that one thing which brought you back? That is when I realized that I have to continue living. When I first saw Amma Garu, I couldn't stop my tears. Sadhguru Bhyo Namaha, Om Sushumna. In all humility and reverence, I bow down to the lotus feet of Paramagurus, Shri Shri Bhoganada Siddhar, Shri Shri Mahavatar Babaji, and Pooja Guruma Atmanandamai. Welcome to Sushumna, The Inner Miracles. In today's episode, we have with us Priyanka, a yoga trainer from Shimoga. Her life was full of challenges. Let's listen to her inspiring story of how she could navigate through the tough times with the practice of Sushumna Kriya Yoga Meditation. Om Sushumna Priyanka. Om Sushumna. Tell us about how you got introduced to the practice of Sushumna Kriya Yoga. Okay. So one of my friends were doing meditation and they were sharing their experiences with me. So I was kind of fascinated by the stories and I also wanted to start the meditation but I wasn't motivated enough. So one day what happened, my father fell sick. So, I prayed to the gurus and because we all were worried, you know, he, it was kind of little serious. And I prayed to the gurus that if he comes out of it without any complication, I will start the meditation. Okay. And to my surprise, he recovered within a day or two. Oh. And then the next day I started meditation. Okay. And it, the first 49 days of meditation was really amazing for me because I got to experience so many things. Uh, I mean, I got the divine visions um, during meditation and also I got... You had many uh, divine visions. Yes. Huh, I had many divine visions and also got so many energy from the Gurus. And I got to uh, see Bhogasiddhar Guru uh, in my meditation as oh. well. Yes, I also got to uh, see um, Adi Shesha in my vision. Oh, and. Uh, so many. So initially, I mean, when you were uh, getting to see all these huh? deities and uh, different energies, hmm. uh, what what is that? What is it that you had felt back then? To be honest, I was kind of proud of my experience. I was oh, uh, yeah. Okay. You were so experiencing because, pride. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Because so much, so many things were happening to me because I was able to experience so many things in these just forty nine. These are all and for yes. the first time in your life, you're yes. getting to see all this. Yes, yes. So okay. I was kind of proud of. Uh, those moments okay. and later in life I realized I shouldn't be like that I should change my it? ways. Who was it who were uh, initially mentoring you through the process? It was Divya Narayan. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So you used to share all your experiences with yes, her and yes, she yes. used to get back to yes, you. Yes. 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 Uh, yeah. And uh, Priyanka, initially you were uh, getting to see a lot of visions. Mm. Later on, you know there's something which is called as the inner transformation. Mm -hmm. When did you begin to experience that? Actually, when we start spiritual journey, first things that come out of all of us is negativity. So when the spiritual churning happens, True. we know the mantan, the story of mantan. Correct. Um, so that's what happened to me. The negativity came out first. I had no idea how to deal with it. Uh, okay. I had very little knowledge about it, little to no knowledge about it. So I started catering to negativity. What kind of negativity did you observe? So, uh, my behavior changed, my behavior completely changed, I started to deceive people around me because okay. what happened was I wasn't happy with my life back then. Okay. I wasn't happy with what I was doing, I wasn't happy with the way I was living because I had made someone else's dream my own. I had something else in my mind but I changed my dream just because I wanted to Please someone satisfy else. Or yes, please somebody. somebody. Okay. Uh, it was uh, sometimes it was uh, it, for the sake of my family or for the sake of somebody else. I kept changing. So there was a sort of disharmony within. Yes, me. yes. Okay. So I wasn't content with myself. Okay. So that is when it hit me hard. So gurus intervened 
because I was not on the right track and they brought me back. So people around you also were uh, feeling uh, different? Yes, yes, yes. They yes. started experiencing yes, that yes. you have gone into a negative track? Yes, yes, because okay. I indulged them in my negativity as well. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah, that much uh, negativity I was spreading. Oh. So when did you realize that this is something which is negative? Only through introspection one can realize what's happening within. Uh, is it introspection that had helped you or is it something else? Initially it was gurus. Okay. They intervened and they told me that, oh, okay. yeah, I got to know uh, from one of the volunteers that I have to change my ways. Okay. Uh, this is the message from the gurus. Okay. So that is how it all began. Yes, and I started to introspect more. Then I realized that I was on the wrong track. Before I used to blame everybody for my miseries, my sufferings. And later I realized I was on the wrong track. I was the one who was creating all this havoc. Mm -hmm. And I was the one who was on the wrong side. Okay. So I must change myself so that I can change my surroundings. So then I started to do more and more introspection every day, every minute of the day, whenever I shout at someone or whenever I get any negative thought, even I had suicidal thoughts because I was under severe depression and I was suffering so much, I was blaming everyone. I also wanted to end myself, that was the state of my mind. Even after doing so much meditation, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I wasn't able to control my mind, control those kinds of negative Intense thoughts. Emotions. Yes. Okay. So that is when the gurus helped me. They, they were sending me so much energies. They were sending me um, so much of help. And I got um, introduced to the seva by one of the volunteers. And, and that is how uh, I got to see the real purpose of life. That is how I realized what I want to be and what I want to become and how I should change my life for the sake of my own good and for the sake of the people who are around me and also to change the people who uh, are around me. When you are uh, at the verge of ending your life, what is that one thing which brought you back? It's the help from the Gurus. Whenever I felt I want to end myself, they would send me a message. Mm -hmm. They would okay. send help. Uh, can you share uh, what is that one yes. word or uh, something which has inspired you to live? Uh, I'll tell you. Uh, one day I was really very uh, depressed and I was crying day and night because okay. my life had turned upside down. Mm -hmm. I had no idea what to do with my life. I had no vision of the future. I, would, I was completely devastated. And I just wanted to end my life because I, there was no happiness in my life. Everywhere I go, uh, I experience negativity, uh, the taunts, uh, and I couldn't handle it because already I was going through so much because I was on the wrong, wrong path. And I knew I had to change myself. Yet I was not able to handle myself, handle those thoughts and handle the situation. So that is when uh, Anjali Garu helped me, came into my life and okay. she helped me out big time. She constantly uh, be in touch with me. She constantly, uh, you know, tried to help me and she she was in touch with me on a regular basis. Okay. So she, daily was she, she was counseling Yes, you yes. She was texting me, day. she okay. was calling me back and she was telling me not to worry, gurus will take care of everything and when I started to change myself, my thought process and everything that is around me, that was around me, I started to see Amma Garu in my dreams. Oh, is it? Okay. Yeah. That is when That's I realized, amazing. yes, that is when I realized that I have to continue living. That's amazing, Priyanka. You will have to live to continue to serve and uh, to also inspire others. Yes. Uh, Priyanka, tell me about your experience of Mahavatar Babaji. Yeah, the thing is, uh, as I already told you, that I wasn't living my life. I had made someone else's dream my own, and I had no idea what to do with my life. Even though I knew what I wanted to do, I had no idea how to do it, or where to go, or whom to ask. 
So that is when Mahathir Babaji came into my life. Um, he could send me help. He, he showed me the path to pursue my dreams. He showed me how to do it. He showed me uh, what to do and where to Did go. Did you see Babaji in the vision? No, no. Okay. He would send help. Just, oh, okay, huh. okay. He kept sending me messages. Okay, huh. okay, okay. okay. Uh, in the meditation or in my dreams okay, okay. and also uh, through his disciples. Oh, that's amazing. Not only Sushumna Kriya Yogis but also uh, some other medium. Okay. So that is how I realized what I wanted to become and what I wanted to do, uh, what I want to become and what I want to do with my life and how to serve the humanity. Everything, uh, I just learnt it from Mahathar Babaji. That's great uh, Priyanka. When did you develop a bond with our Guru Puja Shri Atmananda Bhaima? I started praying every day. When things got out of hand, I started praying every day. I, I just kept complaining. I just kept complaining. I told Amma Garu that I just want to end life. I do not want to live anymore. Please help me out. I just do not want to be like this. I do, my thoughts are literally killing me and I don't know how to even talk to anybody because I shut myself. I stop talking to people, even with my family members. I stop talking to my parents, my sister, my friends. Uh, I stopped going out and I kept crying day and night, day and night. And when I started to see Amagaru in my dream, I realized I have to leave and I started to feel that she is the one who is going to save me from all the When did miseries. you get to see Amagaru in, uh, physically? It was during Mahashivaratri. Okay. okay. Yeah. Uh, I told uh, Anjali Garu about my sufferings and she knew about everything and I told her that I cannot bear anymore, I cannot take it anymore, this is too much for me. and. She told this to Amma Garu and Amma Garu told her, asked her to, you know, uh, come, come to Shivratri. Hmm. Okay. She made me come to Shivratri and she made me do seva. During Shivratri, you were invited for seva, Priyanka. Hmm. So, what happened next when you first saw Amma Garu? When I first saw Amma Garu, I couldn't stop my tears. It was a divine experience. Uh, it was kind of a connection between mother and a child. Uh, I, I cannot put those experience into words because only after Mahashivaratri, only attending, uh, you know, after the Mahashivaratri, my life completely changed. Uh, she let me do seva in, uh, during Mahashivaratri and I was so happy and I was so grateful that Amagaru uh, came into my life, helped me come out of the depression, helped me come out of the difficult times and I am so grateful to our Guru Ma. And after uh, the Mahashivaratri function and after the puja and when I came back home, Amma Garu kept coming in my dreams. Uh, sometimes uh, Amma Garu uh, would sit with me, uh, laugh with me, make fun of me. And That's so nice. Okay. Yes. And also advise me at times. And uh, one day this happened, she came in my dream and Amma Garu was sitting on a cot in a room. And she and Amagaru was looking at all of us, and there were so many people. Um, okay. And looking at all of us, and Amagaru was just smiling, and we were all, we all were happy, and we all were smiling, and we all were doing seva. So my bond with her, you know, became even stronger, even strong, and I started to connect with Amagaru even more. I started to feel her presence in my life even more. Oh, yes, whenever I call her, Amagaru comes. And I could see the presence of Amagaru everywhere I go, everywhere oh, I visit. And Amagaru managed to save my life and oh, not managed, that would be a wrong word to say. She saved my life, Amagaru saved my life and Amagaru would never let any negative person near me. Uh, she stopped it completely and Amagaru never let me go near any negative place or any negative person, near any negative person. So you are protected? Your yes, I am completely protected and 
you are able to innately experience all yes, of that positivity yes now. yes yes because it is not possible to you know say all the experiences uh, we you know go through yes every minute is a beautiful transformation yes. once you take to sushumna kriya yoga every moment of our life is a real grace that's what we can say priyanka that is really true it's, that is truly an inspiring story of resilience and uh, you've proved that with sushumna kriya yoga you can overcome any obstacle in life thank you so much for joining us today thank Om you sushumna mangalam mangalam nitya shubha mangalam